Hey guys, today we are driving to North Carolina to get a sawmill for the farm. We looked at buying a like a carport style barn and it was going to be like $7,000 since metal is so expensive now. And we were talking about it and we're like, there's a lot of things that we need to build. There's a lot of expense at finishing the inside of the shed to house. And so we decided that instead of spending $7,000 on the carport barn situation, we're going to spend it on a sawmill and be able to build a lot more buildings than having one building. I'm very excited. <laughs> So, Austin learned early on in our dating relationship that if we're gonna take a car ride and there's an opportunity for an adventure on said car ride, then we also have to take the adventure. So, on the way to get the sawmill, we saw a sign for a... You, you saw a sign. I saw a sign <laughs> for um, a historic landmark, which was a covered bridge. And I've only ever seen one covered bridge before, so how are we not going to stop? And it was only like 30 minutes out of the way. <laughs> That's probably good. Well, this is not the way I wanted to get this thing off. Um, I had gone and bought these chain links that are rated for over a thousand pounds. And I know this thing doesn't weigh but a couple hundred. And the Yamar 221 with the bucket will pick up five to 600 pounds. So it, it could easily pick this up off the trailer at max height. The teeth are right here. Now I can curl and it'll lift up another foot or two, but I just don't see that working and not having the whole thing swing off. Um, so what we're gonna try and do is I'm gonna have to spin it the other way and we're gonna lay it in to the bucket with the track at the bottom facing into that, not the band blade, not the blade. We're gonna turn it, you know, 90 degrees and I'm gonna have to set it in there, strap it down, and then I can gently take it over to this new spot and set it down. Thank you. 
some cement blocks and some treated four by sixes to make the track that the, well, to make the base that the track will sit on for the mill so that we can level it out. So we don't really have a frost line to worry about, but we also are not 100% sure this is the forever site for the sawmill. So we didn't want to do something more permanent and then want to move it in a year or something when we have more land cleared. So this is where we're going to get it started and we're going to set up the foundation. Right. And I'm really kind of just letting the tool do the weight. I don't want to like. Right. So I figured maybe we'll put the wedges between the bl block and the that yeah that's what i figured and not the track the track yeah that's what i figured that it would be between the block and this yeah all right you want to tap in that side that looks really good so far and we're just going to close because so we do have like you know what i mean yeah we don't need it to be like the other way you're sitting. I haven't done this one yet. I got you.
Yeah, do you want to add a little bit I back here? I just want to put a little bit under the butt of it so it don't slip. You want to try a two inch box in there? Cause it, that looks like it's going to squish down some too. There we go. Uh, I dragged it up, but. Just hang on to it. I don't need it either way. All right. And then we'll uh, maybe squish it down a little bit. Now it's going to be, wow. It doesn't even need to go down much. You at least train goat, buddy. Mm -hmm. How you doing, Chip?
figured it'll stretch a little bit after using it. Yep, so every time before you cut, you make sure it's 35 pounds of pressure, and then when you're done cutting, you take the pressure off. Yeah, I just back it off 10. So. Alright, choked. Got a pine tree on here.
Nice. Yeah. Awesome. That's amazing to just watch lumber come out of a tree. Well, that one will be great for the greenhouse base. It's like the right you depth and all. See the depth change. Yeah. It's got to be dipped in here somewhere. Yep. All right, so this is the Oscar 428. Yeah. And we have a lot to learn, obviously, with saw milling because it's a brand new tool for us. But I could not be more proud of having boards cut today. Like, I'm <laughs> yeah. super proud of you. That It's intimidating. I think it is. But Oh, it's intimidating to me. Uh, the sawmill works fine, but um, we got to revisit this track system. We built it, and then it rained like three times before we got the head on it. And I think it's just gotten it all out of level. I've tried to level it yesterday and today and I'm only on my third pine log and it seems like it's already at a level again because it keeps binding halfway down this uh, 13 foot log that I'm cutting. So It's a big log though. I know it shouldn't be binding, but I'm just saying. Right, like, right. Yeah, for, it definitely shouldn't be binding on it. For, uh, for us to be brand new at this and you actually got to cut lumber today, like obviously every tree you cut you'll learn from. So oh, for sure. There's only one way to go. <sighs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to our channel to help it grow and comment below if you have any tips for sawmilling or if you have any Hudson sawmill tips. Um, obviously we're new and we are learning how to do this as we go. Thanks for joining us. Thanks guys. Bye.